Welcome to WebStyle Press. Browsing feature was just pushed by OpenAI to ChatGPT Plus users. Now you can use browsing with ChatGPT. This feature gives ChatGPT superpowers. Yes, web browsing is available in ChatGPT. The browsing feature in ChatGPT Plus allows the AI to interact with the internet. This means that it can pull in information from the web in real time expanding its knowledge beyond its original training data cut off in September 2021. By default, this feature is disabled in ChatGPT. To enable browsing in ChatGPT, click at Settings, go to Beta Features and enable web browsing from here. Then maybe reload the browser for a good measure. And now you will have a drop down below GPT-4. GPT-4 can operate in default mode now or with browsing enabled. Here are some of the things that you can do with this feature. You can ask for recent news updates or facts. For instance, you can inquire about the latest technology news, sports scores, or recent scientific discoveries like what is current weather condition and temperature in Georgia, USA? And here it is. What are top three scientific discoveries of 2023? A new brain reading device called Semantic Decoder was demonstrated by the University of Texas at Austin. A new algorithm developed. The first infrared image of an asteroid belt outside our solar system was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Okay, it allows the AI to look up specific articles, blog posts, papers and other sources of information on the internet. This can be useful for in-depth research on specific topics. The AI can read, summarize and provide insights on articles, blog posts, papers and forum threads that it finds on the internet. This can be helpful for understanding long or complex documents. For example, what is Mojo as described here? Mojo is a new programming language developed by AI developers. It aims to combine the usability of Python with the performance of C, enabling advanced programmability of AI hardware and extensive extensibility of AI models. Now, Mojo is a new programming language. To get this info, ChatGPT had to browse that page and get the data as it did from there. By using browsing feature, the AI can verify information or facts by checking them against reliable sources on the internet, such as What is the age of the universe? Verified from online sources. It said as of my training cutoff in September 2021, the estimated age of the universe was approximately 13.8 billion years. I told it to verify it from online sources. And here is the response. Here is another one. Is a human genome made up of over 3 billion base pairs of DNA? Is Mount Everest the highest point on Earth? Okay, with browsing feature, AI can also explore scientific websites like Wikipedia or a news site and bring back relevant information. For example, according to Wikipedia, after how long period of time 
Wilson in Gulf Earth. Searched Sun Life Cycle Timeline Wikipedia. Clicked on this link. Reading content. Finishing browsing. 5 billion years. And here is the source. How useful and needed this feature was. It can go check internet and bring the latest and accurate information in front of you. There was this one big limitation of ChatGPT where it used to say as an AI language model my knowledge is limited to this date. But now this is not the problem anymore. ChatGPT can access and share up to date knowledge now. Stay tuned guys because this is going to be a lot more interesting. I will share more tips on this one in coming videos. Until then go enable this feature and try it out. But keep in mind that the browsing feature is read only. Meaning the AI cannot interact with the internet in a transactional way. This includes activities like submitting forms on web pages, making purchases or logging into accounts. Furthermore, it respects user privacy and does not access or retrieve personal data unless explicitly provided by the user during the conversation. Also remember that while the browsing feature can provide more current information, the accuracy and reliability of the information it retrieves is dependent on the sources it accesses on the web. Therefore, it is always a good idea to cross-verify information from multiple sources when possible. Okay, remember to enable this feature browsing feature all you have to do is to click these three dots go to settings go to beta features and enable web browsing from here also browsing feature is only available in gpt4 model for chat gpt plus users only if you want to use chat gpt4 for free check the video links in description that will show you many ways you can use chat gpt4 for free in coming videos, we are sharing a lot of tips on how can you make your life easier using ChatGPT. Stay tuned. I remembered one more thing. Browsing feature auto detects if ChatGPT needs online reference. Only if ChatGPT needs to go online, browsing feature will be used. In case you want to manually trigger it, just ask ChatGPT to verify something from online sources and it will go online to get updated information. And in that case, browsing feature will be used. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.